Suppose you start a new job that requires you to drive into work every day. Without a car, you decide that you're going to need to ride the bus. Now the cost to ride the bus for one trip downtown is $3.25. And my interest, what I'm trying to figure out is how much am I going to have to save for bus fare? So I can make some plans for my budget. Okay, so let's try to write a linear equation model, a linear growth model for this situation. Now, why do I know that it's linear growth? Because I have a constant numbered rate of change, $3.25 per one ride on the bus. So that's why I know it's going to be linear. And that means I can use my general linear equation, P equals A plus B times M. All right, so let's play around with our equation here. Let's create our equation model. Our variables are going to be P and N. Every a linear growth equation keeps those variables. And I have to identify the A value and the B value for my given situation. Okay, so P is equal to my A value is the starting value or what happens when we have zero trips? Well, if I have zero trips, I don't have to pay any money for bus rides. My rate of change is $3.25 for every trip on the bus. So I can figure out my price just by multiplying $3.25 by the number of times I ride the bus. N, of course, is the number of bus rides. And P is going to be our budget in dollars for the bus. How much we need to save. Okay, now because we're adding zero, that doesn't really change the equation. So you might want to work with this slightly simpler looking formula. 3 or P equals 3.25 times N. And this is my linear formula that I'm going to use. And now that I have a formula, I can start playing around and making predictions and plans for my best option. Let's suppose that we decide that we need to drive or take the bus into work. two times every week. Well, if we bus into work and it costs, or it takes two times, we also need to bus home from work. And that's gonna be two times per week as well, All right? We go to work, we wanna come home. So altogether, we're gonna be using four bus rides per week. And if we're doing a monthly budget, let's go ahead and assume that there's four weeks in the month. So this is going to give me a total of 16 bus rides in a single month that I would have to use to make my budget. So I can use my linear growth formula to figure out how much this is going to be, how much I should save. So P, my budget, is going to be equal to $3.25 per trip and I'm gonna to need to do 16 trips. So P is gonna be equal to $3.25 times 16. Uh, pull out my calculator to do that. And I get $52. So if you have to ride the bus into work and home twice a week for four weeks, you should save $52 for bus fare in your budget. Now, a monthly, but once you start driving for a while or riding the bus a lot, you might want to think about getting a monthly bus pass. A monthly bus pass for this drive that you have to do into work costs $117. With a monthly bus pass of $117, it's going to start, I don't have to pay any more once I get to $117 on my monthly bus pass. But the problem is with a bus pass, if you only use the ride once, you still have to pay that $117 no matter what. So at some point, it's going to be cheaper to pay by the bus ride. Like in this example, at $52, I would definitely just pay for each bus ride. But if I had to go a lot more, it might make more sense to do the monthly bus pass. So where's that kind of break even point? At what point is it going to end up being cheaper to switch to the monthly bus pass? 
Well, that's when the individual rides get to be more than $117. So if we say our budget is $117, which would match the price of the monthly bus pass, it's going to be equal to 325 times N, but this time I'm trying to solve for N. I want to figure out how many bus rides do I have to, or can I take before it gets cheaper for me to switch over and buy the monthly bus pass. Right now, 325 is being multiplied times N, so I can divide by 3.25 on each side. Going to go ahead and pull my calculator out again. 117 divided by 3.25 is equal to 36. So what does that mean? At 36 rides, it doesn't matter if you use the monthly bus pass or if you pay for the individual passes. It would end up being exactly the same. However, if you're going to end up riding more than 36 times in a month, you should use or you should get the monthly bus pass. That would be the most economical. Because after 36, you'd still be paying for those individual bus rides. Um, but if you have the monthly pass, you're still just paying that $117 for the whole month, no matter what.